This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. It's Borussia Dortmund. They face Paris Saint-Germain, and it's coming up live here on EA TV. Well, this is a region that really loves its football, the industrial west of Germany. We're at the home of Borussia Dortmund. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It is a real chance. Marvellous anticipation. the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund Emre Can starts alongside Marcel Zabitzer in central midfield Niklas Füllkrug is up front the referee spotted the infringement and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace teammates are giving him an icy stare on the back of that well I'm not quite sure what he was trying to do there he got it totally wrong whatever he was doing possession lost by Borussia Dortmund now failure to keep the ball by PSG decent position but he's certainly not alone crossed accurately towards the far post and a goal the opener in the semi-final first goal of the contest Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And the finish from Mbappe couldn't be any better. That's a good header and a top-class goal. Well, back underway here, and a wake-up call for Borussia Dortmund, you would think. Nico Schlotterbeck. Sancho, vital intervention, now can they hit them on the counter, successfully cut out, and Borussia Dortmund in a position of menace, that's a good looking ball, The referee has decided to award the free kick to PSG. Well, now he's walking on eggshells, you might say. Next time it'll be yellow. It needs an accurate cross. Lucia Dortmund showing good width. Defensive play to be applauded. Now, breaking in pace is always a possibility. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Crossing possibilities. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. lost 
by PSG. Dembele. And pressing from the front. And green space galore for PSG. Dembele. Now with Hakimi. Well, all doing their bit to keep them out. And there the first half ends here in Dortmund. Well, who wouldn't want to have Kylian Mbappe in their side? Stewart, a key component of his team. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the plate. Well, it's advantage PSG after the first 45, but a long way from being decided. Still, there was work to do. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Hakimi. Dembele. And blocked for now. It's looking promising. Tonight again. Pumas. Space afforded Borussia Dortmund. Trying to chisel a chance out of it. Royce failed to hang on to it. Mbappe. And the counter looks on here, options available. Good use of advantage in favour of PSG. Hakimi. Cutting it back. And beyond the last defender, offside. Substitution it is for PSG. Jaden Sancho. And Dortmund have the ball again. Oh, to level the match. And just like that, it's gone in. Borussia Dortmund suddenly are level. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Well, disappointment, anger, frustration, whatever is going through his mind, he needs to get his team going again here. Fabian. Vitor Ferreira. Capelli on the ball. Now, what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. 20 minutes remaining now. Making a pace. Gives it a go! And nearly the perfect break, but no end product. Well, it's just off target, but what a good counter-attack that was. Dembele. So a throw in for PSG. Hakimi. Ferreira. And he stopped them in their tracks. PSG couldn't keep the ball. 
to take the lead. A goal! He's dispatched it, much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Marquinhos. On to Hernandez. Here's Marquinhos. Lucas Hernandez. No foul. PSG advantage. Here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. Disappointing end to the move. Grant. Davita. Oh, big chance. Well, they've solved the problem for now, but let's see. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Can they hit on the break? teammates to play it to oh beating his opponent with ease oh my goodness you've really got to praise the defending that was top notch the final whistle and Borussia Dortmund are in control they'll take a lead with them into the second leg well they'll be pleased with that victory but it's a slender lead they're taking into the second leg and I think they'll be confident but it's going to be tight that's for sure and in the final analysis a really positive performance from this man Stuart well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.